What is up, blessed and beautiful people? It's another day, another breath in my lung, and I'm out here fishing. You know, we went out and checked all the cameras last night. All three properties are zilch. We've got raccoons and, and uh, squirrels and stuff at the feeder. So we're gonna lay off that. We're gonna hit the canal. We're gonna go ahead and try to get us some fish. I've already caught probably six or seven fish before I even started filming. So uh, I'm having a ball already. My boy Brandon's supposed to meet me out here and uh, I think he's pulling in now with his boat and uh, we'll get back at you and uh, get her strapped up to my chest, get some footage. It's gonna be like y'all are right there with me, so check her out. I don't Soaking a, uh, I think we get a big bass to bite them. Got a nice little gar. How'd it taste? Good, actually. You gotta use Man, he ain't done. Go ahead, buddy. You done? Well, you got some dip. I'm gonna swallow the darn hook. What happened? Well, y'all, it was a productive day of fishing. And uh, we put a bunch of those Mayan cichlids in the uh, in the cooler. And uh, for those that don't know, I mean, they're unbelievable white meat. I mean, you can't go wrong with them. Uh, I was told that they were great. And I tried it out. Well, if you don't know, I'm coming to you from my, my girl Lizzie's cage here. She's a good girl. Come out. She's a little shy, but I probably caught about, I don't know, 15 of them. I kept about five or six of them. And I had a buddy that told me, man, there's great white meat. Brandon, my buddy Brandon, told me they were great to eat. Brought them home one day. Me and the wife ate them. Threw a little Everglades seasoning on them. Threw them on the grill. Boom. Great. Uh, so I'm a believer now. Uh, grew up in Miami. Uh, we had the Oscars, we had the cichlids, and we always believed that they were just an invasive uh, fish that we could catch and, you know, try to dispose of or get rid of, but there was no getting rid of them. I mean, they multiply like wildfire. They're like jackrabbits. And as far as the cichlids, these are like a Mayan, uh, a Mayan cichlid rather than the African cichlids that you guys see in the uh, fish store. I, I guess they've gotten... Uh, released into the wild and they just breed it so what we do is we'll go out there on the weekend you know right now like i said you guys watch the video there ain't nothing going on on camera there's no hogs at any of my spots so we just figured we go hit the, the canal and chill out we were out to about 1 a.m last night you know catfishing you know my buddy had some stink bait we threw on there it all worked out so what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and clean up these fish and uh, show you how i do it and then we're gonna go ahead and show you how I prepare them and then how we cook them. So it's gonna be go ahead and be like a kind of catch clean cook video for the Mayan cichlid. So you guys check it out. Right, girl? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. This is good. Yeah. See? Yeah. They're cool too. Doing all right. Don't be shy. Don't be shy, girl. This is my girl. Now these guys are in, invasive down south, but uh, I've had her since she's been a little baby, and she's actually getting ready to go into like a uh, into like a egg land. I mean, she lays about 30 eggs, 40 eggs. It's okay, girl. Go ahead. I'm gonna go get you some food now, fatty. All right. Righteous. All right. So here we go. These are my tools of choice. I like taking a cleaver, it takes those heads off real easy. And we got about five of these cichlids in here. And a 
bluegill. That's a nice bluegill. I mean, you can see these cichlids here. I mean, that's my hand. So, they're nice size cichlids. Go ahead and clean them up. So what I like to do it is, we'll start with a big guy here. I like to scale them first because I do not fillet them. I gut them. scale them just like that and make a mess neighborhood cats will love me scrape all that all those scales off and they got like <clears throat> almost like kind of like not as big as redfish but they're pretty big scales like a snapper almost Some guys like to lead the heads on and stuff like that. I don't do that. I mean, I like to, there's a lot of head meat there, so I like to come at that angle right here. And use my cleaver. That gets, usually gets through it real, real easy. Just like that. like you would do any any other pan fish get rid of that guts and poopy and all that yummy stuff Cook them whole just like this. Try to get all the scales off, season them up real good, throw them on the grill. There's one. Throw the heads over here. We can use those as crab bait, which that'll go for either crawdad bait or or uh, crab bait in the river here. So we'll do one more just to kind of show you guys. So we've got our mine cichlids all cleaned up. We've got them gutted, we've got them scaled, and now we're gonna go ahead and season them. We're gonna fry them. I usually grill them, but today we're gonna fry them. I don't feel like grilling, I feel lazy today, so 
we're going to go ahead and season them up the same way, except we're going to fry them in butter and just a little bit of olive oil. So we're going to season them with uh, salt, a little bit of Everglades fish and chicken seasoning, throw a little bit of black pepper, and we're going to kind of get it all loved up in a bowl. And uh, I'm getting hungry just thinking about it, so let's get started. So we're going to go ahead and just kind of throw a ton. I like I like a lot of seasoning. So Everglades fish and chicken, you're the bomb. Get it all nice and coated up. We got one bluegill in here. So these are Mayan cichlids and uh, everybody deems them a poopy fish and we deem them a good fish. They're nice white meat, right babe? Mm-hmm. Nice white meat. Um, we caught a couple of them. They were probably about the size of a nice size snapper or something. So, so we're not going to flour them or anything like that. Throw a little bit of salt real quick on it. Just to do that. Throw some pepper. I'm going to touch it with fish hand. So throw a little bit of pepper on there. And I make a mess. My wife hates it. I'm a messy cook. I do. But I cook good. Ask her. He does. Yum. I will make a mess though. I almost need it like an apron or something. You should put your apron on. I'm a slob. So we will uh We'll get our butter in the pan. I'm gonna go ahead and we'll turn the heat on, get it all ready to go. And we're just gonna throw all this in there. And we'll throw a little bit of olive oil in there. Just a little, kinda you, you put the olive oil in to, my grandmother taught me this. You put the olive oil in to kinda keep the butter from burning. So, thank you, Nanny. Good job. We're gonna let this get ready to go. And we'll brown them on one side and uh, flip them, brown them. What I like to do is I like to get the I like to get the tails and the fins and make them like little little fish chips, eat them like potato chips. So I don't know how many minutes when I'm gonna flip this. So what I do is I just go ahead and check it every once in a while to see if it's if it's brown under there, which it's not yet. I'm just leave it on there and just get a little bit. Of a little bit more golden brown and it's on about I'd say medium high right now I had it a little bit lower on the start but I just went ahead and cranked it a little bit they're not real big fish so they'll cook pretty good you always want to come around and act nice when we have food huh right Jackie yeah. Poo Jackie so nice all right oh yeah Aww. you're so cute you don't want no fish huh give me kisses Aw, give me a cat. Oh, no. Good boy. All right, so we're going to turn this thing. We've got, uh, it looks like it's about ready to go. And we're going to go ahead and re be real easy with it because you don't want to tear the fish up. So, yeah. Um. So you kind of want to get under it and then turn it over nice and easy. Just like that. Look at that. Down there looking for Look at that, broken thing. Oh no. So we've probably got a couple minutes left. 
it's on the back stretch right now. It's nice and crispy on the one side. We're gonna go ahead and just kind of check it. All right, looks like it. It looks like it's pretty much done. I'm gonna just flip it back over. I really shouldn't do that, but I have to know. It's a little crispy on the back. Mine cichlid is done. It is. Take a fork. Stick the fork in and it's done. I'm gonna go ahead and try to just be easy with it. Turn the, the pan off. And what I like to do is I like to get a little bit of uh, paper towels if you can find them. <laughs> and just kind of get the excess grease off. I mean, look at that. I mean, that looks just yummy. So we're gonna sit down. We're gonna enjoy a meal together. Get my wife's reaction on the Mayan cichlid. And she's actually already had it, but we'll get her reaction on the bigger ones and uh, see how she likes it. Well, we prepared a wonderful meal. Um, Jessica cooked some asparagus, some brown rice. I actually made some sausage and peppers. I took some Italian sausage out like the night before last and I just went ahead and cooked it. And anybody that's had my sausage, you can attest, you know, it's great. You know you want some more, so come get it. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and we ask that the Lord bless this meal. Lord, Father, we, we love you, we honor you. We ask that you uh, bless this food, Father. We ask that it be nourishing to our bodies. We ask that you bless the hands that uh, prepared and cooked it as well as caught it, Lord. So we love you, we honor you, and ask that you be with us as we dine in this place. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen, amen. Amen. Amen, dig in. Amen. Amen, dig in. What did Wayne, you, Mr. Putman, you say? Amen, dig in. So, we have some of this fish, and you guys can see how white it is. Look, look at this. Wow. I mean, it's, it's good. Can throw a little in there? You want another? Yeah. Yes, please. And we are going to... Using my hands. Yep. Yeah. Away we roll. Our paper plates. We ain't no hoity-toity people. This is our fine china. Mm. Oh wow, it's very good. I mean, I grew up in Miami. We had canals, we had lakes, and uh, we used to catch Oscars, we'd catch cichlids and stuff. And we would always either just kill them or throw them back. We didn't know we could eat them. And uh, my buddy Brandon Jaworski, my boy told me I could eat these and uh, also Austin Griffin told me. So I appreciate y'all boys turning me on to this fish because it is a great eater. And uh, if you haven't had cichlid, Mayan cichlid is what this one is. If you haven't had it, you gotta try it. Do your part, go out there, catch them and eat them and get rid of them. I think maybe four out of the fish that I, that I gutted, I found eggs in. So these things are reproducing and it's our job to get out there and get rid of them and put them in our belly. Why not, right? So everybody's worried about getting food from the grocery store, or worried about toilet paper. You know what I did? I just did what I normally, I mean, I've been fishing a lot lately only because my cameras, my hogs ain't been there. So that's the only reason. Other than that, I would be hogging. I'd be out there shooting hogs. But if they ain't there, I can't shoot them. So, and you guys know every lick of meat that I kill or I catch, I eat it. waste. Even these heads. I saved them and froze them and we're going to use them for crab bait or we're going to use them for crawdad bait. So you got to use every part. Even the hogs that I kill from now on, I'm, I've been saving them. Me and my boy Brandon use them for hog bait or uh, crab bait. I'm sorry. Beautiful, but she cooks great. Aww. I love you, buddy. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. I love the fact that we can just, I can throw the boat in the back of the truck and go catch some more if I want to. Mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. It's been a while we've been on a, we've been on a pork high. It's been on a crap ass pork. But let's get some different. And chicken. Mm -hmm. Got some chicken. Mm -hmm. Chicken's good. 
Just not every day. We need to get some duck. Yeah, so we need to get out there and duck. Mm -hmm. Okay, can you get some? Pastor Buddy has some ducks, little ducklings. Watch out, Pastor Buddy. No. Hunting in your backyard, bub. <laughs> So we're gonna finish up. We're gonna close this thing out and uh, enjoy some time together. Junior's at work. Junior's working. We're gonna hang out, spend some time together. Very rarely with her schedule, my schedule that we get to. So uh, we ain't going anywhere. We're just gonna hang out here. Ain't gonna be no boat time or anything like that. So we love you guys. We appreciate you guys watching. Don't forget, hit that like button, hit that subscribe. You know, subscribe to the channel, hit the get the bell notification. Every time I post a video, you guys will get a notification and you'll get to see the video in real time as I post it. So I'm going to try to get a little bit better with posting them on a schedule. But uh, either way, love you guys, appreciate it. And remember what I said, fire them up, baby. Peace. Or, or lip rip them. Peace.